Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer League Road to Max, where Maxon isn't the end goal, but it's actually just a saga. It's like a story arc of the road to actually going for as many points as possible. For the last few videos, we've been getting at least 199 per video, if not two sometimes because of like how skills work together, you know, like woodcutting and construction, for example, go together. Uh, last video, we got 99 thieving, and we also managed to mine all the pure essence that we should need for 99 runecraft so i'm thinking we'll spend all day today doing rc from like the one hour that i actually did do of it or like less than an hour i did i got like 1.2 mil xp per hour which was doing it pretty casually which would probably go down over time too so we're probably gonna end up spending about 10 hours doing runecraft and because of that like just going for 99s in general there's gonna be less to show because i'm just grinding a skill out it's like in the main game like in the uim series if you have a uim I am road to max series for example at devious at devious you can only post like once every month or something because the progress is so slow unless you want to just make a bunch of ramble videos which i'm not really good at rambling um but yeah don't forget your birdhouse runs by the way because you get hunter levels out of it there's 95 hunter i'm still trying to get a bunch of seeds because we only have 94 farming and we're pretty low pretty much out of in fact all the saplings and all like the tree seeds so trying to really stay on top of these so yeah we're gonna make the goal for today to be 99 rc we have 60,000 essence. Ooh, I should get like a thumbnail of the 60k essence. That'd probably look nice. I like wearing graceful as well, ironically. It's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna wear it like every time I go skilling from now on because everyone has unlimited run, so it doesn't matter like getting the run restore, but it's just gonna be funny. So if you couldn't tell, we're gonna be doing runecrafting at the ZMI altar. Uh, we've got 76 right now, and <laughs> it's gonna take a long time, dude. I know 10 hours, like that's not a lot in general, but for the league, this is probably gonna be one of the slower skills, even with last recall having the crystal memories it's gonna be pretty slow also especially because of the fact there's like no downtime at all it's just constantly clicking versus skills like herblore for example it's all interval based like you have a few segments in between to like watch youtube or click on reddit links or whatever so just like with other skills such as thieving or construction the longer your mouse is off the screen the less xp you get but we just have to make this one run to the altar and then we can just teleport back and forth from the crafting guild back to the altar until i inevitably which i guarantee is going to happen i'm going to use Use the crafting cape twice in a row because I'll just get tired or get complacent or whatever and it's gonna mess up the teleport. Then I'll have to do the run of shame all the way back over here because the teleport crystal only memorizes it once so like if I teleport back right now um, and then like you know I run around or something if I want to teleport back again it says it doesn't remember where you teleport so it only remembers your one last previous location then it wipes the memory. Oh yeah I have to set up the bank fillers too so release that and then oh yeah release that too. Okay so now when we have all the runes in the inventory we can just press deposit inventory and these will stay in there. I'm stalling. Stalling? What? You, th you think I'm stalling right now? What? What? <laughs> well I never. All right, let's begin with Runecraft. I'll put this up on screen so whenever I check in, you can see what we're currently at. I think we got like about 6k XP per inventory on average, so I'll let you know over time, like as we get more levels, if that goes up to like 7k or 8k or something. Hopefully it does, but I have no idea how it's going to be. Because of how fast the trips are as well, I don't think it's worth using the pouches. Like even if I didn't have to worry about them degrading, I don't think it's worth the time like filling them up every single inventory. Yo, oh, that was too late. Oh, I can't wait though. We started the video with 2151 total, so. So by the time we're done, we're going to have quite a few more total levels. It's starting to get up there, kind of, I feel like. 77 runecraft! We can now go to Zaya and do blood runecraft. A couple more things I forgot to explain, like why we're doing Arania runecrafting, is because for each essence, you get 1.7 times the amount of XP you would normally get for making that kind of rune. So this is like the best XP that we can get per rune, and also the fastest XP that we can get to because of the fact that it's 1.7 times XP. And then this doesn't matter as much, but with the already medium dire, done which we do have by the way you get extra runes when runecrafting at arania you don't get extra xp for it but you get the extra runes which i guess could be kind of nice you don't have to have the arty cloak equipped either it's just a passive effect from the diary oh another thing to explain because this comes up a lot as well is how to shift click anything so if you have the menu entry swapper plugin turned on on rune light you can right click your inventory icon configure shift click set your shift click option and then save it. I was just runecrafting with this guy 
and I saw him standing at the bank chest because I guess he has the crafting cape too. I saw him teleport from this spot to over there. <laughs> I was like, rip, dude. Oh. Okay, analysis from one hour of training runecraft. So you can see we barely held on to 1.4 mil runecraft XP per hour. We used up 5,954 pure essence, so essentially 6,000 pure essence. And if my math is correct, that means that we got on average 236 XP per essence. So if that's correct, we should actually need less essence than I originally thought, which is pretty nice. We hopefully won't have to use up all 60k, but it's time to get back to the grind, and there's probably not too much else to check back in with, so <laughs> let's keep going. I just wanted to say I love the dialogue message. I love the way it's worded. Your medium level knowledge of the local area allows you to bind additional runes. I, that's great, dude. I wonder who wrote that. A couple days ago, I showed a post where Jagex just said that they want to make some updates to clue scrolls and change how they work in the game. Uh, well, today, right now, they just made an update to their update. I don't want to get too much into it though because I have a feeling things could change. I don't want to like start talking about all these different concepts when it's not even in the game yet. So if stuff actually changes, then I'll let you know what's going on and keep you updated. I was talking to my friend Jake and he was like, tell your friend Zach, I said, sit the fuck down for me, will ya? And then Zach just woke up and he's so confused because there's all these comments in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to sit the fuck down. Oh, <laughs> oh, we got the first person. Why the graceful? He said, are you okay? <laughs> I'm definitely not okay knowing that I'll have to train Runecraft for like... <laughs> For another like eight hours today. Please stay six feet away. Don't touch me. I'm sterile. Oh, finally 90 Runecraft. That means we could switch over to crafting silver. Huh? Wow. Yep. Yep. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, DMP. Yes, we need that for the task. Come on. <laughs> Please don't despawn. <laughs> Yes, we got the task, 100 league points for that, and we got glories. I'm sorry to any Iron Man that might need, well, I guess everyone's an Iron Man. Sorry to anyone who might need glories, because I definitely don't need those, but I'm so glad we got that task done. I honestly thought I would never get that task done throughout the whole league. Now we don't have to worry about going to Puro Puro later to... Oh, God. Oh, it's the worst. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> All right, it is worth it though. We are approaching the end of the grind though. We've only got a few hours left to go or two hours, yeah. Oh, that was so worth it though. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye as I teleported to the crafting guild. It had like just gone out of view like the second after I teleported. I was like, wait a sec, I swear I saw a DM. And luckily there it was in all its glory. All right, there's 98 crafting. We now have the hardest level out of the way. 97 to 98 is the hardest level for any skill because it's the most XP you have to get between levels that doesn't get you a 99. So it's the most mentally taxing in my opinion, especially with runecraft, like on this game mode, that probably was the hardest level out of any of the skills that I'll have to get. All right, we're on to the real final stretch now. 1.2 million XP to 99. I'll see you back at the end. Oh, I was just watching the last clip over and I just knows that I accidentally said crafting instead of runecraft so just pretend like I said runecraft instead of me having to spend time and effort to add an annotation in or, or cut out me saying crafting or something that's too much effort. <laughs> I just got six hour logged. I missed the message because the orb just like spams up the chat box with it. We are gaming. All right this is gonna be it. So as you can see by this XP tracker here we got almost 1.3 million XP per hour over the course of the last nine hours hours of training runecraft um, let me take this off the screen but this is the last inventory and i have gathered all of you here today to witness this very special moment of probably the most annoying skill for me at least to get to 99 here we go 99 runecraft 250 points for that oh i was thinking because this cape is really special and like you probably are hardly gonna see it in the league I decided I'm not going to get it because I need money for more important things. Anyways, uh, I'm really hungry right now. I've been runecrafting all day and it's getting kind of late, so I need to go AFK something. Luckily, we don't have to AFK for Essence anymore because we got 99 RC, so um, I guess the most AFK thing to do at this point is fishing. So we're going to go back to Karambwans then. How much Karambwanji do we have? Okay, <laughs> we have more Karambwanji than we'll probably ever go through. Oh, I need to do a birdhouse run first because I haven't done any birdhouse runs since like the start of the video. So we should probably go do that first. Okay guys, the fastest way to get to Karambwans is to teleport to your POH and use your fairy ring in there while you don't have your Draymond staff equipped and then it takes you right to the spot.
Right, that's a weird flex, literally no one asked. There's this really cool chart on the wiki that shows you the rune distribution based on what your level is. So you can see like the soul runes are up here. The higher your level gets, the more likely you are to get the higher tier runes essentially, and the less likely you are to get the lower tier runes. Um, there's also this breakdown over here. I guess this is the main thing that matters, the XP per essence on average based on your level. So when we started, uh, around this area we were getting like for what my inventory setup was it was like just over 6,000 XP per inventory and by the end of it at level 98 I was getting like 6.4k XP per inventory on average so it didn't really make that much of a difference the fact that the essence scaled up but I suppose it added up just a tiny bit. I'm very proud of myself though because I only messed up one time messing up the crystal memories Besides for the DM time, I only messed up one other time, so that's not too bad for a full day of RC. But we're at 95 fishing right now, right at the start of the level. I'm gonna go eat dinner. I have a lot to edit, so I guess we'll uh, we'll see how much fishing XP we get today. I think we might get quite a lot of XP tonight because I have a lot to edit too. 96 fishing. Not my pet, by the way. 97. 98. Okay, well, I guess apparently we're actually getting two 99s today. So is that one more fish, one more crown one, and then? I swear it's always the last one that takes the longest. And there is 99 fishing! Two 99s in one day. Well, in fact, within just a couple hours of each other. Ah, uh, frick, what do I do now? Like, what do I AFK now? I can't do Essence. I can't do the Karambwan spot. I mean, I could just stay here longer, but I don't really need the fish. Those were like my two super AFK go-to things because the spots never move. So you could just full on AFK for four and a half minutes and just click once every four and a half minutes. Uh, what do we do? Uh, we should do a birdhouse trend first. I feel like in Trailblazer League, the fishing cape, or especially the untrimmed fishing cape, is probably the most beta cape you can get. Like if I saw you wearing that, I'd probably also expect you to be like wearing full mithril and probably holding a mushroom in your hand as well. See, you know it's bad when even Zach's roasting me for it. <laughs> okay, I also want to show you all the runes that we made. I don't actually have a before comparison, so I guess I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but here's all the runes that we have now. I mean, I don't think we have this many laws and nature runes. It seems like a lot in the astrals. Actually, a lot of these runes are pretty buffed up. Like, there's no way we had close to this many of all of them before. Now that I'm like actually paying attention looking at it, that's a decent amount of runes. Um, and then how many crown wands do we have as well? There's all the crown wands from 99 fishing. Um, I definitely ate a lot of them doing PVM. I probably ate like maybe almost a thousand crown wands if I had to guess. All right, well, I need to AFK for a while longer, so I'm gonna go to the Fremnic Slayer Cave and just go AFK Karasks there. Oh yeah, now that we have 99 agility, by the way, you can just go through the shortcuts. Level 81 agility for that one and 62 for that one. <laughs> this is my setup by the way. It looks really dumb, but like it doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna be super AFK anyways, but yeah. Yeah, we got 90 range, so of course we gotta get it as close to 99 as possible. Ah, uh, the Kurasks, or as I like to call them, the Gargoyles of Fremnik. We're not on task by the way, I can't pick my own task, I just purely want to do it for the money. And the seeds too. Guess I should probably grab some Alex as well then, huh? Oh hey, that, that's a leaf bladed axe number two on the account. At this point, it's a 57k Alk. Hey, you just got a 91 range. 92. You see this Karask right here? This is a very special Karask because I'm gonna end the video now. I realized I forgot to show one thing before we wrap up the video. Uh, I didn't show the amount of pure essence that we have left over. I don't even know how much we have. Okay, so we have just under 12k pure essence left over, so we used almost 50,000 of the 60k pure essence that we originally had. But yeah, we've got uh, 29,560 league points, 2181 total, and the max cape is getting closer and closer every day, and then we could finally play the game. Just remember, there is no rush though. Enjoy the journey. But yeah, with that said, thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying, because I've been having a lot of fun. I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.